Are you there? Yes. Hello? Hello, this is Monsieur calling from the office of the Commonwealth Commission, giving you a call back. What's your name, please? My name is Nasir. Nasir. Hi, Nasir. Hi there, how are you? Shit. Um, I'm just okay. writing a letter. Um, look, I'm going to try and be polite today. I, I really am looking for solutions by calling the Ombudsman. I've received a letter on the 19th of September, which is... Um, from a representative of Anthony Albanese. And he has suggested to me um, that I go to um, Mark Dreyfus and that Mark Dreyfus, um, his Attorney General's department has replied on his behalf. And he has suggested to me that I complain about the conduct of a public official at IGIS, but I've already done that. And he also mentions that um, I've got concerns about several government agencies and that I may refer the details of those concerns to the Commonwealth Ombudsman, which is you. However, I've already tried that. And the Ombudsman has rejected my public interest disclosures and refused all further correspondence. What do you think I should do um, now that I seem to be blocked from all ways? Like, I'm actually homeless. I have a disability. I've been raped. I've been abused. I've been drugged. I've been vilified. How do I get justice if the ombudsman won't listen to me? I can't go to the police. I can't be a whistleblower. And I can't get a lawyer. No, I'm not. Okay, no worries, thank you. Um, so I'm just having a quick read here. So you've been, obviously been in touch previously with our public interest disclosure team. Um, I'm just having a look. So I've got the letter here. It's just from, from yesterday, the 19th of two, two days ago. This is from the security law session at Honourable Ant Anthony Albanese MPs regarding my interactions with several government agencies. This is from the government. It's been referred to the Attorney General and the Attorney General's departments um, suggested that I go to AGIS and that I go to the Commonwealth Ombudsman. I've been blocked from both of those institutions. So I'm left with no recourse, you know what I mean? Like, what do you think I should do? Um, so have you received, did you receive the email from our office on the 9th of August? 9th of August? Wait on, I'll have a look, hang on. I, I can't remember getting one. I I am a bit distressed, you know, and I've been homeless, so I haven't even been able to... Now, what, what date's August? The 9th of... What? 9th of August, 2023. Mm -hmm. so just last month, it was sent to Richard Drawers stuff. Okay. From ombudsman at ombudsman.vic.gov.au? Correct, yes. It so what... It was sent from PID at ombudsman.gov. PID at ombudsman. Wait a So I'll just... I'll search for that email address. That might help me find it. PID at... Ombudsman, Peter Ombudsman, um, so I've, was this 9th of August? Yes, correct. Okay, so, okay, I've just found it, yep. So 9th of August. So if, what, what I would suggest is in the first instance is probably replying or sending a reply to that email address where um, then your, you know, your matters may be further can from there, uh, that would probably be, I'd suggest, the first step in this. In but I've already been rejected. Like, you've rejected me. The officers previously considered your concerns about the Attorney General's Department, and I do not consider that further action by this office about these matters is warranted in these circumstances. 
The office acknowledges the information you have provided to us about the difficult circumstances you're experiencing and your advice about the impact this has had on your mental health and well-being. You would encourage me to discuss my health and well-being with the GP or healthcare um, providers. That's what you've provided to me. So the office of the Ombudsman um, has had consideration of my disclosures um, and there's a whole list of them there. Um, as we have advised you, your disclosures were assessed as not meeting the requirements for a public interest disclosure under the PID scheme and you have been informed that your disclosures will not be investigated. Can I just offer you something, mate? I was drugged and raped by my former partner, Steve Isonides. I can't go to the police about that. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm Yeah, so you're listening to me. I was drugged and raped by Steve Isonides, 11th, 1273. He used to work for ASIO and he drugged and raped me. He's exploited me. He's threatened to kill me. And um, the government are on his side. The government have his back. He's a public official and he's required to act ethically. But ASIO knew I was being exploited at the time. And no government agency will admit that the relationship ever existed. I've just been gaslit out of existence. It's it's not possible that you, you, you can actually reject that um, this relationship's existed. And like, just for example, how do you respond now that I've told you I've been drugged and raped by him and I can't go to the police? So you condone me being drugged and raped and not being able to report it to police, is that right? No, absolutely not. Then you would intervene then to make sure that that can be reported to police, wouldn't you? You're the ombudsman. But you have oversight over the police's jurisdiction. That is your role. See, this is you gaslighting me again. This is great. I ring the Commonwealth Ombudsman. I report to them. My PID has been rejected. I've got a clean criminal record. I can't go to police. I've been blacklisted for making your PID as a whistleblower at the Ombudsman. I'm 50 years old and I've never had a lawyer. I'm homeless. I have no rights. I have no equality before the law or access to it. I'm now an infamous vagrant and I've just told you I've been drugged and raped by Steve Isonides and you're refusing to intervene. Is that correct? It says on the website that I can make a, a, a complaint directly on the phone. That is what I'm doing now. I don't need to write another email because it'll just be rejected. I can't call the federal police, the state police. I'm a scapegoat. It's really unfair you treat me this way. I can make a complaint to the ombudsman on a phone call. That is what I'm doing. I don't want to have to write another email because you'll just reject it like you rejected the last one. Yeah, and, and look, like I said, because it's a matter that you've raised in the past, that the, the best, most appropriate action for you would be to, to send um, information forth for a reconsideration of the decision, and that can be done by the, the email that's, like I said, been sent to you. Okay, I'll do that. And you know what? I'm going to CC it to the UN because... It's abhorrent that you treat me this way. It's really abhorrent. No, thank you very much, Richard. No, sorry, I'm not finished yet. Can you please speak to me? Are you there? Thank you. 
Are you there? Thank you very much. No, I just want to speak to you some more, please. Uh, look, like, like I said, uh, as, as you've already sort of raised these... No, I just want to say, can you recommend the, the steps I need to take to get my public interest disclosure over the line? Can you recommend the steps I need? Okay, regardless of the POD, can I make a complaint about the police? Um, no, so in terms of the Victorian State Police, like I said, that's something that falls under the... Federal state Police. State. I'm, re I'm, I'm reporting that Federal Police won't listen to me. Uh, again, it, because it's something that it's, it's not actually in the jurisdiction of the Federal Police, it would actually be of the Victorian State Police that you would need to... Um, why, can't I, why can't I report systemic corruption? Why can't I? Excuse me. Why can't I report systemic corruption? 